Happy family. I want to get this Last down. Is that the, this picture. the Bagby family, uh, someone in the Bagby family did this charcoal drawing of the grandfather's clock. So you've got the painting and you got the real deal. Yeah. And what did you say, Dad? The um, this you call it a grandfather clock. I call it a grandfather's clock. Some could say it could be more like a grandmother's clock. And it was given to you from Bagby Furniture. It was given to my father by Hugh Bagby, who was the owner of Bagby Furniture Company, and a patient. Wow, and Amy, you were saying there's a building downtown? Yeah, Bagby Bagby's? Furniture. It's it says still there. It's still painted on one of the bricks. Right. Huh. Yeah. That isn't where Bagby's Pizza is. No. You think it's the same building? Was that on Charles Street? A... No, but it was right in the heart of Baltimore downtown there. Huh. As you go out, like you were going to Hausner's. Oh, really? Eastern yeah, Avenue. As you go out that way. Yeah. Oh, okay. Bagby Furniture. Are they still around? Oh, no. The stick barometer? I've got... Uh, Are you going to take that? Well, somebody ought to take it. I've, I've got a couple of... Uh, right, you got one in the back room. Look, it opens up. That's a stick barometer, and I've got two um, other types of barometers. That's a stick. I always wanted a stick barometer because mm -hmm. you can hang them anywhere. How about Uncle Max? Well, he's he's Uncle no Mac. longer here. That's the Cavalier. The Cavalier. He's a, he, he could be up for grabs. I always liked the Cavalier. He's pretty stylish. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right. There a picture of Mr. Potass, but I got to know him very well. Your mother and I, we bought these chairs right after the war, and we didn't take delivery on them. We bought them directly from one of the Potass and didn't take them until we, you know, were settled in our apartment after the war. But the, these six chairs, you got four side chairs and two in. These are the first things we bought from Pothouse. And they, they kept them downtown in, in their building for a year or two until we Take could take up. delivery of them. Hmm. But we bought, and these were like nice $35 a piece. Yeah, yeah. really? And uh, at one time they sold for, you know, a couple hundred dollars each. Mm -hmm. And then the, you said this is potash too? This is made by potash. That's made by potash. This little table? Yeah, I love that table. Now that you can take. That's tiny enough, I right? don't know. And then this, I don't know what you call it, but that, that's a, a potash right. item. Wow. It, it to, it's a tilt top. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love those. And then I, I'm going to tell Billy, the, the best single piece of furniture is that end table. This? I mean, that tilt top table. This one. That's a tilt this top kind of goes with that. table yeah. with a birdhouse in it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look, on the right, they, they used to call it a birdhouse. The legs? Oh, right here. A birdhouse. Billy going to take that? You could actually, you might have room. I, no, I don't think that'll go. Mm -hmm. I, I'm, I'm going to be fighting for room down there as it is. Yeah. Look at your little porch. Do you ever go out here? I, two guys from Towson. The sofa? The sofa. It has an oak frame and the the wooden legs for all mahogany, and it was handmade. I wow. saw a picture of a Chippendale, wow. that's a Chippendale sofa. 
This is. And they took the picture and I said, that's what I want. Wow. Of course, I know that won't go in there. That's yeah. a big boy. When did you have that made? That's been around that for a while. That was handmade. That was around 1948 or 9. That was in the living room at Bologna Avenue. Yeah. That was I used to sleep on it. Did you? <laughs> yeah. When, when you were a baby or someone was a baby, I used to sleep all night. Wow. It's built like a you-know-what. And you never had to have it reupholstered? Once. Oh, okay. Once. It was originally the same color? I don't remember originally, but we it's took it really down to shape. a very swank uh, shop on Franklin Street, Matthews. Matthews? And uh, they reupholstered it. Dad, I seem to recall in the living room, Germ, didn't she have vinyl over this? She had a covering, <laughs> and we were never allowed that, to sit on it. That was the well, thing. In the living out. room, we weren't allowed to we'll live. take a quick look, All and right. then go into the uh, third room. Okay. These, not all of them, but most of them. And these two I'd like to take. Virginia's Eastern Shore. Is that, well, is that the one you showed me that has house by house? Yeah. Who they're, owned it and... They're really close. And I like the Battle of Chancellorsville. That's, that's a reprint, but it's, it's a terrific book. And this goes with the map. Oh, it does? That little thin book. The Loudoun County map? No. It's a... It's a um, It was done by Yardley Taylor. Oh, that book. Yeah. Oops, I got it. What was that? Uh, it's your little figurine of 6314 Bologna. This goes with the map. Oh. And uh, that's my father's, my mother put that in there. And this is a, a plot of land was right next to Ever Evergreen Farm. <laughs> it's coming apart. Huh. It's just a map of a field. It was right next to Evergreen Farm. Taylor Field. Taylor Field. Huh. S.T. Nichols to H.M. and S.H. Hogue. Howard and Sarah Hogue. Huh. This, this belonged at one time to Isaac Brown. I don't know what that is. So that's a keeper. That's Isaac going Brown. Down. Isaac Brown. And this goes with the map. Yardley oh, Taylor Surveyor. 1853. Wow. Loudoun County... Virginia. And it's a map of Loudoun County by Yardley Taylor. And this goes with the map. Oh, cool. And very few, they're only of the map. Where the hell is the, the map's in the den? Yeah. There are very few copies of that map in existence, maybe 10 or 12. And practically no one has this book that went with it. Originally. Maybe just the historical society of, what is it, Lincoln? Yeah. They got one. Memoir of Loudoun County. And it, it, it was published with the map. And very few people that had the map kept the book. Wow. Books are a very scarce item. Well, everywhere. Even at the library. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, that, that goes. I'll put that up. All right, so this is the good corner. This is all That's the... the good corner. What is that, the Comanches? I want to hand those down, and I'll, I'll, I'll skim through them right now if you want. Comanche? Because they don't all have to go. you got two versions. Well, I've got two or three, and I looked. This one... 
It's not box C. This has been. This is a little well loved, a little wear and tear. Yeah, and and it's been patched up. See, a couple. Of, my Ooh. father had this done. It was minus three pages, so he had. Oh, inserts. He had them photographed, so that from a collector's point of view, they're not good. Right. And this one is, um, what is this? This is a very uh, collectible book. That stays, okay? What's that? Now, wait a minute, don't get me mixed up. Partisan Life Mosby. That's a Mosby book. They're very collectible. Mosby's Raiders? Yeah. Confederate. Now, wait a minute, we're getting ahead of ourselves here. Partisan Life. John S. Mosby. Where are the other books? Oh, I brought them down. Where are they? Well, the, the Comanches. I couldn't get them all. Let's see. Oh, they lean over right here. What's this? Marriage of Loudoun County. History of the Loudoun Rangers. Uh, Ranger Mosby. You like this Mosby? Well, my father was a Mosley fan. Now, see one of those politically incorrect Confederates that has a um, statue they're going to take down? Oh, no. He wasn't that important. Well, Mosley, yeah. Wow, he these might. are heavy, though, Ed. All right, now this... This is a good book, if I sell it. Yeah. Good shape. And what one's that? Laurel Brigade, Ashby's Calvary. That's very saleable. Oh. Loudoun County. You're like a branch library for the Loudoun Historical Society. This is not very collectible. This no? Put this over there. So, Paul's Bluff was a battle down there near Leesburg. The Battle of Ball's Bluff with Thomas Stone, right? Well, the Stones had nothing to do with it, but. He was court-martialed, right? No. The Union uh, General? Loudoun County, the Civil War. Text by John Devine. He was a very popular writer down there. So anyhow, are you, are you taking some of these out today? No. No? You just tell me, you know, we're just making an inventory of what you think is stuff you want to store, get rid of, take right. down with you. This, this I want to store. History, history of the Laurel Brigade. Okay. You want me to put them in a separate stack? Sure. You, you taking them off the shelf? You got a little time, you know. I know. I got a good box for them. Or you can put them in that tub if you want. What do you, what do you want to do that now? Whatever you want to do. Well, let's see what we got here. And then you got the second tier. You've got your um, Dowdy, Mr. Oh, Bruce Catton books. They're not worth much. No? No, they can all go. Virginia's Eastern Shore, though? Yeah, I want to keep them. I might sell them. Okay. And then, I want to keep that... The Battle of um, Paul's Bluff. No, um, that first one. Oh, what's this? The the campaign of Chancellorville. Yeah, that's Bigelow. The, that's good. That's I keep that. That that's gonna 
go to safekeeping. You, you want to take that? Okay. Huh? It says value. Well, the thing is, the original of this, I almost had one, so I just missed it. But this, this is a fabulous book of the Battle of Chancellorsville. Ooh, see? Maps. There's the map of it. And this is a real, in my opinion, it's a collector's item. Huh. And this is a reprint of the original book. And the campaign of Chancellorsville. Huh. And at one time, Pratt Library had it. Uh, had the original. I, I had my hands on it. You did? But you brought the book back? Good this citizen. is a reprint. I paid almost 200 bucks for this. So that we keep this. Did you want? So we put That's, those over here. This is. These are the keepers. They're the keepers. Where is your um, photographic history of the Civil War? I thought you had that. I used to. You got rid of that one. I think so. Huh. Now this this we ought to keep. Oh, did you? This and is a keeper. Updating your apps. See, that's a keeper. This is not too good. It's not very collectible or anything. So maybe, what do you think? Should we put them in the box? Anyone interested the banker's in box? family history, you think? Oh, yeah. That would be you or Billy. Yep. Uh huh? Definitely. Definitely? Mm -hmm. Marriages of Loudoun County, yes. Between 1757 and 1853. So your family would be in there? Parts of it. Right. I, I'll tell you who's in here. Mm -hmm. Schumacher. Schumacher? Yeah, Warner's and the Schumacher's. I think it must be in here. What other ones we got? Let me see. Oh, Comanches, Loudon. Think it's Virginia's Eastern Shore? No, that's no. Eastern Shore. Comanches. I know you're taking the baseball encyclopedia. I know, I know the Warners and the Schumachers. See page 162. Oh, I see. Yeah, the reason I kept this. See, the Warners? See George that. Warner. Married Sarah Schumacher. Oh, okay. Where's that? See, we talk, George Warner would be one of the Warners. Mm -hmm. And you had George married Sarah Schumacher. And you had a William Warner oh, wow. married a Steinbrenner. Steinbrenner. Yankee. And Peter Warner married another Schumacher. So, that there, you know, that's how the Warners, we want to hold on to that. Yeah. Okay, yeah. It's not old or anything, but from a Oops. collector's point of view, you want someone in the family that wants to... Mosby. Now, Mosby... Looks like the Necromicon. Necronomicon. This is a very collectible book. It's signed in the front. Mm-hmm. Well, let me see that. Well, that's signed by the person who owned it at that time. That was signed in 1867. Jeez. And um, that's very collectible. Most of me. See, my father 
was a southerner all the way. He, mm -hmm. uh, he was a Virginian. And uh, he, he, he liked Mosby. So this is very collectible. Just keep that. Definite. And you got a couple editions of it, right? Well, that's the Comanches. Now the Comanches... Is that a Civil War book? Oh yeah, that was a... Well, the lining's coming off. Look, I had the original cover, which oh. fell apart. So I had it rebound. Hmm. So that's... That's probably a dying art. Mm-hmm. But that's, you know, that's savable. Mm -hmm. Someone that wants to get in the family history. They're scarce. Scarce items. Now the Loudon Rangers, I'm not crazy about. They were Yankees. <laughs> <laughs> and I was never crazy about them. So they're not. I don't have to keep those, and I don't have to keep Ranger most. It's a nice book and all that, but it's not. It's not essential. It's not a collector's item. Mm -hmm. But th those are savable. And you got James Head, Loudoun County. James Head, this belonged to my father say, at one time. Loudoun County. That was published in 1908. It, it's it's not a great book. It's okay, but it's not great. Not a From a pilot. collector's point of view. Uh -huh. What have we got? Legends of Loudoun. See, my father was born in Loudoun County. Mm -hmm. So but, these are hand-me-downs. These are from these, Raw. These are not, nice maps. They're not very collectible. They're okay, mm -hmm. but they're not like those. You got to keep Loudoun in the Civil War. Well, it's okay. It's you just. It's okay. It's, it's oh, nice yeah, little get ball. that. Got some good maps in there. Yeah, essential. And this book. Is that another Mosby? A life. It's hard to make it out on that spine. It's well worn. Life, the partisan life of Mosby. We want to keep, you want to keep all the Mosby items. Mosby. Yeah, they're very collectible. Do you still have your Mosby uh, whiskey? I have it Remember? somewhere under the sink. It was that clear there. whiskey. And this is a reprint of the Comanches. Now, We've got the original over there, uh -huh. but this is just a copy. It's okay. Easier to read. Yeah, that's a. It's not collectible, okay? Okay. Huh, that's your Civil War. So and these, then your, these are the ones we want to keep. How about your baseball? You're going to take the baseball encyclopedia for sure. I've got two of them. Oh my god, you do. So, I might as well get rid of one of them. Huh. And then your Bruce Cattons? No, I'm not going to... And Douglas Freeman? Shelby Foote? Uh huh? Well, these you said are readily available. They're not collectible, Tommy. Okay. I mean, they're very readable. Yeah. But they're not... They don't bring any money. Oops. we got to take this out. Airplane down I too. I guess I'll take that. I, That's from I Billy G. I don't want it. And your frogs. How about the? Um... Well, we get into that later. That kind of stuff. Alrighty. Down in Accomac, which is down the eastern shore of mm -hmm. Virginia, 
a professor, a retired professor, whose name was Ralph Whitelaw, retired down there about 1935. He traced back the original King's grant of every house standing in those two eastern shore of Virginia counties to the original King's grant. Wow. There's your law for you. Yeah. <laughs> and th this used to bring up to five hundred dollars a pair. Wow. And is, is this uh, an original or you said this is a repeat? A repeat. He's got pictures of every house standing in nineteen thirty five at that time. And he traced yeah. the original King's Grant back to the days when we were a British colony. Mm -hmm. So that's valuable. So it's very valuable and collectible. Mm -hmm. Both of them, they go together. That's a keeper. Mm -hmm. And that's from the 30s. I mean, these are books that, if you walked into a, uh, you know, a bookstore that handles stuff like that, They'd have that price at, you know, five hundred or yeah. seven hundred dollars. Be special collections at a library, definitely. So those are the keeper books. They're the keeper books. They can they're they're nice books, but they're not collectors items. Uh huh. This is a hickory well, they chair. Great, they made great furniture. And and this I bought not too many years ago, this one. I'm sorry. Th yeah, this one. This is a hickory also. Okay. It's just a very well-made chair. This keeps sliding down. Very comfy. But this is a hickory chair. And that's a hickory chair. Mm -hmm. They're still in business down there. Are they? In the Carolinas. There's a lot of furniture made down there. I bought that a couple years ago. It cost me $1,000. Oh, this God. chair? Or they're handmade. Maybe that's the one you take. Yeah. Yeah. Is that comfortable? I sit in here quite often. It's not as comfortable as that. This is the comfy. They're, they're both hickory chairs. If you had like to, a chair to sit and watch TV in, this guy, that's right? That's more comfortable. Yeah. How about compared to that one? Close. I think this one's the most comfortable. That's newer than this one. This one's more cushiony. Yeah. Yeah. That's sturdier. Where do you normally read when you're reading your books? I usually sit up there in that one. This one? Yeah. Well, right by the window, right? I the volume on my sound system. Mm-hmm. Which, which is a definite go, the Denon. The Denon has to go. And your Sony, your CD player. Yeah. Probably take the Blu-ray. So the sound system should go over there. Yep. Downstairs. And those beloved yeah, KLH those speakers. All, it's up to you all. Where did I put my cane? Oh, it's over here. Or whatnot. But they were based down in Morocco, mm -hmm. which is all the African coast. Right. And we used to send clothes, used clothing to her, and she traded some of the used clothing for that pot. For this pot? And it's a great piece. Who traded that? Pauline. Oh, wow. This is from Morocco? Morocco, yeah. Wow, exotic. We got some old uh, clothes and whatnot, and we ended up with that pot. Wow. Nice. The barter system, definitely. These books 